What's going on, guys? Been a while since we've done any videos, and I was kind of messing around on Instagram. Granted, this has been shit three weeks ago. And Knife Nut EDC, I had to do it this way because I would have forgot it. Is as soon as I opened Instagram and looked, my memory's still fried from all the COVID shit, and I'm still trying to deal with all that. But anyway, di different story. But I'll link him down in the description to his Instagram channel. And he was saying something about if I'd be doing a long-term review or update on the Adamus. I'm like, I hadn't planned on it, but sure, why not? And figured no better time. I am fixing to send this back to Benchmade. Not for finish wear or sharpening or any of that. But like I say, there's no finish left on most of this side of it. And this side's still good. Pocket clip's kind of polished out. But I can sharpen my own knives. But side to side, no blade play at all. Up and down, however, it's, it, it's not much. It sounds way worse than it actually is. And I'm not really worried about the lock bar failing on it. I mean, you still gotta move this thing, let's see about halfway back before it disengages any more than it locks up so it's just something in there's worn I don't know if it's the axis lock or maybe the back spine of the blade but something's gotten some wear in it so we're going to send it back and have them take care of it and I forgot I'd bring y'all along for the journey on that one I've never used their life sharp service before but we'll, we'll see uh, I'll go box this thing up and get it sent back to him this afternoon and as soon as I get some updates from Benchmade I'll update you guys probably I probably won't make a complete video on it but if you want to go over to the Facebook page I'll link it down in the description too you can check it out or over on uh, Instagram I'll try and remember I don't do a whole lot over there so but I'll try and remember but in the meantime since this one's getting pulled out of the pocket the replacement will be my Pinch made bedlam, which is also an auto. Love this knife. It's definitely not taking the place of the Adama. As soon as it comes back from Benchmade, it's going right back in the pocket. This is going back in the case. But not saying anything bad about the bedlam. Great knife. Love the hell out of this thing. I picked it up cheap at a pawn shop. And love love my autos. This thing fires hard for a big knife. I mean, anybody that knows the Adamas, let's see. Sorry for the lighting I'm at my desk and it kind of sucks. But yeah, that's the difference between the Adamas and a Bedlam. Just This thing's huge. I like big beefy knives. But yeah, this one will be riding in the pocket until the Adamas comes back. It's just so much fun. Anyway, I won't drag this out any longer than need to be. But yeah, we'll get it sent back. Said we'll update when I can and We'll go from there. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Say link in the descriptions for everything for uh, Knife Knot EDC. And I appreciate you guys, and we'll catch you in the next one. Later.